if you would like slick mcchicho thank you for your kind words on discord health mental channel last night oh my pleasure uh slick mac making the decision to drop out and return in a year after working to study math in a more relaxed practical university love lots of love man can't wait to see this one awesome slick mac make sure you fulfill on your promises if you think that is really what you want to do uh, make sure you don't get caught up in the lazy sort of mindset because we are we have we do as human beings we do have a sort of a lazy tendency right like for uh, for you uh, for, uh, just to let you know for me um, and just to fill people in uh, it's okay I'm assuming it's okay uh, slick Mike if I fill people in really briefly is that cool uh, because you posted on our discord and that's open so i'm assuming it's all good uh, but i'll wait until you tell me so <laughs> before i proceed <laughs> okay uh just finishing off our little intro uh we do upload uh audios but we, um, audios of these live streams if we don't have any visuals which we do today uh when we don't have any visuals we do upload the audios to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho chycho as podcasts and those podcasts should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify and itunes uh, slick mc chicho of course share 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 like awesome slick mc um just to fill people in slick mc uh, uh yesterday sort of uh yesterday day before um was on our discord under uh, mental health i guess it was i'm not sure if it was under mental health or education or or mathematics uh sort of asked a question you know um his his heart was not in uh being in college right now right he was struggling with it uh, for obviously reasons right there's so much going on in the world right and just centralized education is is not rolling out nicely into uh, the sort of this new paradigm shift that's being rolled out right so he mentioned that he's having a hard time trying to come to grasp with wanting to drop out and um you know wanted to uh convey how he feels to family and friends for them to understand why he's feeling this way that he needs to take a break right and i just sort of posted a little thing saying um that it's okay it's okay to step out right uh take a break for a little while but if you do want to you know it is something that you want to be into make sure you go back into it right so just to expand on that just to let you know where i was when I went to post-secondary education right I graduated high school and I got accepted into university right off the bat and I've shared this before but I'll share it again because the topic is there uh, I went to university right away right and when I went to university it wasn't like the university I went to was very high school like and I was really tired of high school I, I was I was done with the whole bubble mentality and the childish i was sort of done with it right but this university was very high schoolish right and i didn't f find it to be motivating me at all uh slick mike thank you for the tier one sub i uh, appreciate sword, sport brother uh so i didn't find there was any motivation for me to continue my studies at university um when i went there right yonar thank you for the follow um except for two courses geology and geophysics i was into right physics mathematics chemistry english i just couldn't get the motivation to do anything in these things right and i was getting stressed out like i really didn't like it it was stressing me out right and this was a younger chicho right so i was a little bit more fiery <laughs> right so i was getting a little stressed out and just not happy about it right there's times where i would drive all the way to university days and it's like a 45 minute drive and i really enjoyed the drive it was like windy 45 sometimes an hour get there and i parked the car in the parking lot and i go ah oh, the hell with it turn on the car again back home and go to do whatever i was doing right or go meet up with friends and whatnot so after doing this for a year right i decided to drop out of university but i didn't just drop out and you know pick my nose right i dropped out and this was in sciences so i decided to you know go to college right university and college is different here uh, you go college is 
you know, it is sort of classified as a lower level than university, but to me, it's not. It depends on what you do with your education, right? How you're studying. But anyway, the, the category is usually you go from college to university. I went from university to college, and people were freaking out. And I went instead of going staying in sciences because that's something I was in all the time. I went to, I enrolled in a business program, right? And after two months, I realized I didn't want to be in the business program. This was silly, right? So after being four months at the college, I just dropped out and people freaked out again. And I couldn't explain to people why I was dropping out, right? You explain it to them. They're like, oh, you're crazy. You got to end up, uh, especially family. Family was like, oh, what's this guy doing? And, you know, the, the poop hit the fan when I went and got a job as a graveyard shift in a gas station across uh, a reservation, native uh indigenous native i don't know what the correct terms is anyway we call the we call the reservation at the time right across from a reservation which was a lot of conflict right there was so i witnessed for six months i was there i think and graveyard shift from 11 p.m till 7 a.m lots of interesting things happened so someone you know basically fresh out of high school it was a pretty cool place to be and i read books i read lord of rings right i wanted to read all three books i was a really slow reader so i was building on myself right people didn't couldn't understand this i told people oh i'm there it's really interesting you know seeing what's going on right crazy cool right i saw accidents i saw this i saw that it was crazy right and i was reading books but you couldn't explain that to people that look i need to take time off to read three lord of the rings books i'm a slow reader C coming out of high school they didn't really teach me how to read properly so i have to teach myself so i'm learning right nobody understood right after that i took some time off went on a little vacation i had saved some money went on a little vacation and then i enrolled back in i got my geophysics degree with a minor in mathematics that was my path okay just to expand on that it was i wasn't going to type all that out slick mick uh, that's where I came from and I don't think that's the path that everyone should take but that is a path that is there right which is a path that a lot of people do not talk about okay Verdi here recently read a great saying goes something like uh, quote everyone is in a rush to climb to the top <laughs> to the top of the ladder not many stop and check is the right ladder for them imagine spending your life to get to the top of the ladder to realize it's the wrong one, end quote. 100% agree, Birdie, here, right? When you come out of high school or university or college, you everybody needs, needs to take about two years off to think about who they are, realize how you want to interact with the world. You've been in a prison system to a degree, indoctrination, regiment, you actually acquire your freedom when you come out of high school for the first time ever okay some people go directly into college university some people go into apprenticeship some people go into work some people go travel whatever it is but it is your choice now to do that right think wisely and realize that the first choice might not always be the right choice right